Good afternoon, sir. God bless you. And congratulations once again. Thank you. 14 years in Abuja is not a joke, sir. That's true. Sir, you know, you are one of our fathers in the faith in Nigeria, in fact, in Africa, even almost going globally already, because <laughs> everywhere, in all the continents, now you are represented there. Your ministry of fire is spreading everywhere, and you have sons and daughters everywhere. So whatever you say this time matters to us in this our dispensation. And the young ministers are looking on to people like you. Like Ebuka said something today. He said, the prayers you people have been praying since God is using us in our own generation to answer it. Because some of your cry have been, you want to see the young people serve God with fire. Just like on your own time, it's like the young people abandon it for the mm. fathers. And you are, you, are, you are living to see mm. some of your prayers being answered today. Mm. So, but this thing needs to be sustained. Mm. So we want to start by, in these 14 years in Abuja, what is your experience you can share with young people, young ministers, upcoming pastors? You know, God bless you. You know, I was serving God from youth to this very age in my 50s now. Wow. Grace has helped me over the years, over 40 years serving God. Now, the truth is, every young man must be taught the way of the Lord. Mm. He said, train up a child. The way in the, of the yeah, Lord. Train up a child in the way he should go. Mm. When he's old, he will not depart from it. So, our generation have not been taught the ways of God. Mm. Birth, our fathers and we have prayed mm. that our generation, that this coming generation will be taught the way of God. Mm. And we have seen it. Mm. That there is an eruption of young men and women rising to worship God in a new way. Mm. That is an answer to our prayers. Mm. But to all of the emotion, I want the youth to add substance mm. because that is what gives them weight in the days of adversity. Wow. Because everything will not be all exciting. Exactly. There are times you'll be alone to confront the challenges, mm. the battles of life. Mm. So, so young men, if a young ladies, if there's nothing in you, mm. in the days of adversity, you become victims. Wow. If you have not wired yourself to strength that is invisible, wow. you will not be able to outwit your enemies. Wow. The Bible says a man's spirit shall sustain mm. his infirmity. So no matter what befills a man, your spirit is the container, the capacity that will determine whether you can withstand, you can resist, you can overcome or not. So for every young man and women, I know the Z generation, you're mm. going to make it so big because mm. the Z generation are the billionaire generations. Mm. Their thinking pattern is in four different ways. Mm. And I appreciate all of that, but you must carry God with you. Mm. The word of God is everlasting. Mm. So stay building God's word so that you can grow mm. in the things of, of God. Thank you, sir. Mm. Sir, there are these old school, new school that we are fighting with. Mm. You know, there are some things people like our fathers will say. The young generation will say, no, no, no. But then, and there's something the young generation is also saying, the father doesn't want to listen to. So how do we bridge this gap between the, what the old school is saying and what the young ones are saying? We know we're actually supposed to listen to the fathers, but the young ones also, they have something to say actually. So how do we bridge the gap? You know, I'm a bridge between this generation, the old and the new generation. Everything requires balance. Wow. That is the truth. Balance is very important. But also, the old need to understand the youth. Yeah. You know, there are four kinds of people. Wow. You have the boomers. Mm. The boomers are those from the 60s down to the 50s, and uh, they are called the boomers. Wow. The 70s, the 80s, into 95. They are known, they, those who were born were known as the as, uh, X generation. Wow. Then from 96 to 2000, they are known as the Y generation mm. to the 2000. From the 2000, those who are born from 2000, they are known as the Z, Z generation. Mm. And um, every church that must succeed, must every happen. church that must succeed in must. this last day must identify okay. with these generations. Wow. The Z generation are the billionaire generation. Mm. They are the people that will make impact because mm. The, the, if you see what the world powers are planning, exactly. you see what the, the technology is doing, do it. So if we do not arm the Z generation and the Y generation mm. to be up to, so our, uh, the gospel will be extinct. Mm. But for the gospel not to fizzle out, 
this uh, generation must be inculcated the truth of God's word. Mm -hmm. So we must understand their system. That's why sometimes I come preach in jeans, in yes. t-shirts, in canvas to make them understand. Wow. Sometimes we allow the ephesus so that we can accommodate okay. them. Wow. So if you see my PA, I took a PA of a Z generation, wow. not a PA of my generation. generation. Wow. So that his thinking, I could understand his thinking. Wow. So that their ideas, I can imbibe them. And balance things. And balance things. Wow. Thank you. So the same thing also, I balance things with them. Wow. Yes. Maybe Ebuka doesn't know. Mm. He's one of the youngest fine ministers that carry fire. Mm. Some are actually singing, mm. but what he's doing is ministration. Mm. And in fact, today, mm. everybody in church today, we know that mm. you touched God. Mm. Because I need to tell singer that the major purpose of singing is either to bring God to the people or take people to, to God. God. And I think he understands it. But that's a problem. Just because he's young, he may not dress like the old school. He may not do everything like... like He's talk about fine boy that love Jesus. Some people are even misinterpreting those songs, you know. So now, Ibka, I want to see. I know that some of those things are coming to you. How are you handling them and still pushing your ministry? Okay, thank you so much. Such a privilege to be before Daddy and to speak. So this is a very sensitive question for me because um, it's really been a lot since God started all the good works in my life, and um, I honor fathers a lot because of the new Gen Z generation will not make us despise mm. the, the father's mm. anointing, mm. the father's instruction. So one of the things I do is I try to look, just like Daddy said, I try to carry them along as mm. well. I try to make them feel comfortable wow. when I'm around. Wow. So the fathers don't, don't feel like, oh, this boy is just all about mm. the Gen Zs. Mm. So when I'm around them, I, I try to bend Balance into it. the system. Because our fathers, they, they have a lot of things that governs their principles. Mm. And I try to bend into those things. Wow. And also, when I get um, words from those criticizing me or maybe saying things that I give, I feel like, okay, this is my personal consecration. Mm. I don't have to prove a point to them. Like wow. I said, the best thing, my response is silence. I listen to them. The ones I need, I take them. The ones I know that this one I don't need, I just need to join it. I just keep my focus on Jesus. Wow. The focus is on Jesus. Wow. So that's just basically what has been keeping me. Wow. Over the Thank day. you so much. Now, the final, yeah. I have noticed something about you and it's unique. You always bring young ministers around. I remember the first time you gave me privilege to minister in the International Pastors Conference. That was how I become I become a I was a little bit I thought I was popular. Mm. But after that, if I tell you where I've been invited mm. since then, you know. But there are these people in this our fathers in your own generation. Before they invite somebody like Ebuka, they will keep on digging and digging until they dig something that will say, Don't bring him. Mm. But it's as if you don't do that. You know, and I know you know we make mistakes, mm. you know. So why do you treat the young ministers like that? Encouragement. You see, they are fighting against the devil. Mm. And I will not help the devil. Wow. To, they have so much on their hands. Wow. Even if they are weak, I stand by them. Wow. You remember the other day before Sammy demised Sammy? Yes. Also, he was singing. Exactly. Everybody refused him. Mm. Including some of my friends canceled their meetings. Yes. Day. I brought it. I know. I better I said, I Sammy, know. even if the whole world deny you. You see, if you say it publicly. Yes, I stand by you. Wow. During his death, they play that they say. Yes. So, so infirmity, a man's spirit shall sustain his mm. infirmity. So when his spirit was broken, the sickness was there but couldn't prevail. Yes. But the moment his spirit was broken, it gave him gave access to all of these spirits of infirmity to overwhelm, it, overwhelm, to overwhelm his wow. body. So every time I see the young people, I encourage them. Wow. I encourage them, especially once they love the Lord. Mm. I encourage them mm. very powerfully because you see, they are the one that will reach their generation. Yeah. I can't reach the Gen Z generation more than the way Ibuka will do. You mm. need to see everywhere he goes. Mm. These young guys, mm. they are so passionate yes. in their worship. Yes. They, they, they feel God. Mm. I want to see that all over the world. Mm. That is why the young generation singers must be encouraged. There is no musicians who have not pulled through here, especially mm. the younger ones. Yes. And also young preachers. 
So they need platforms. Mm. I'm a child that uh, God gave me a platform. Wow. Fathers give me opportunity. Wow. That's why I went very far wow. than my age mate. Wow. So I recognize where I'm coming from. That's why I try to give the young men opportunity. Wow. Yes. Sometimes I go to preach for Papayo. I give them to preach before I preach. Wow. That 10 minutes. Mm. When Baba here, they say, where did you go this time? He's true. Okay, he'll preach him on next Sunday when I'm not in church. Wow. Tell him to preach on Sunday. And wow. that is how most of them got platform to wow. be preaching on Papa's Ayos altar. They need to be encouraged. Wow. So we will not, as pastors, not all do the same thing. I have a, a heart to encourage young upcoming ministers to succeed. When I travel, I see many people ministers, pastors, some of them actually want to be part of what you're doing here. Maybe some of them don't really know how to do it. Can you uh, share with maybe either pastors or business? Many people love your ministry. Mm -hmm. You don't know how people love your ministry globally. Mm -hmm. In fact, most of the states I go in Nigeria to minister, mm -hmm. there's no place I get to that mm -hmm. they don't talk about you. Mm -hmm. There are some people I've been talking to them, they mm -hmm. say, oh, you live in Abuja, mm -hmm. do you know Apostle Talena? Mm -hmm. I say, ah, in fact, he mentored me to where I am now. Mm. You know, they say they, they want to see, they want to be part of what mm. you're doing. So now, talk to them. How can they be part of what you're doing? That by partnership yes. or other ways? There are two ways you can be part and parcel of this. Number one, either you join our ministry association as a pastor, and or you become a partner. Two of these, any of the two, and you can become both. Partners, if you're a businessman, all you need to do is to thumbs up right now, and we'll send you a message. When you thumbs up, you also tell us you want to be a partner or you want to join the ministerial association. The moment you do that, my office is going to reach out to you and let you know. We meet at least three times a year. We meet in March with, as pastors. We meet in May and we meet in November. So there are school of ministries in those different seasons. We didn't know that of this year, March, but we did that. We just did the ministers' conference now in May. The next one is November during the dedication when all the fathers, all the fathers in Nigeria will be here to join force with me to dedicate the building. So you can also come in to, to the minister's conference in third week of November. And uh, please thumbs up also, let us know, partner or you want to be, uh, you want to join the minister association called International Minister of Fire Association. In, in, in short, we call, it, we call it IMOFA, IMOFA. You can join that group. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you. One second, congratulations.